What's up grappling fans, my name's John Evans, and thanks for joining me again today. We are just gonna keep plowing right through these Brian Morisi videos. If you've been watching these all along, you've seen some phenomenal jujitsu, for one, but for two, you saw how good he was in the first match. You should go check that out if you haven't seen it. And uh, if you haven't seen the second match, there should be a link right up here, or if you're on mobile, maybe it'll be in the description below, but also some really awesome stuff. It's just beautiful jujitsu, so uh, it's it's a joy for me to cast. I, I love it. I love watching it. I'm a fan, so I am just like you guys, but uh, especially if you're newer to grappling and you don't know exactly what's going on, um, hopefully I can convey a little bit of that to you so it can give it some context and you can enjoy it as much as I do because these matches are awesome. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get to this third and final match from the Nogi Nationals. This was a couple of weeks ago and this was with Brian Marisi in the finals. So this one's for all the marbles. See who comes out on top. Let's go check it out. And here we've got Brian once again closer to the camera in the Hyperfly shorts. And he is looking nice and low. I love his posture here. Looking like he's going to just shoot in for a double leg, but then decides to sit down. He faked a little foot trip there. Sits down, and now he's in this reverse daily heva, which as from his second match, we could see he loves to spin underneath, and he's very good at it. So his opponent here doing what he should, though, taking the middle. And this is what his other opponent didn't do in the second match. His opponent didn't take the middle and stay nice and low, which will stop them from coming underneath, especially if you're ready to shoot that cross face. So if the, as their head starts to spin underneath, you can stop them by grabbing an aggressive cross face or putting your fist on the mat somewhere around where their hips are. But Brian is still pulling right in here, and there he's looking for that single leg X slash footlock position. But his opponent is able to scramble right out of it. Now going for double unders here. But Brian's knees are nice and wide. This is going to prevent the double unders. And Brian now, you can see he's taking his right arm and he's underhooking his opponent's left arm. And he's making a padlock. And what you do with this is you pull it right through. And I think he's already got his arm in between his legs. And this can be terrible because you have the option to loop this leg around for a triangle. Or you can just loop this one over for an omoplata, which Brian seems to love to do. But it's your choice. You can even switch all the way to both knees down, and you can go on an armbar on that. But uh, his opponent, I think he's hiding the wrist back on Brian's hamstrings there. I don't think the arm's completely out. If it were, then Brian could attack that omoplata or triangle right away. And his opponent is able to get completely out, and now Brian is back to his seated up guard. And they kind of go out of bounds a little bit, so the ref is going to restart them in the center. Brian's still taking his guard position, not even going to bother to stand up, which is the right thing because they were not in a standing position as they were out of bounds. So just restart in the center in the same position. Brian trying to scoot in, and there, nice entry. He shoves that leg right through, gets to his reverse daily hit, looking for nearly a deep half there, trying to scramble, but then he goes back. Now trying to, oh, this is really bad. He gets that leg over like an omoplata, but now he's got this as a straight arm bar, and he's hooking the leg right there, which makes it terrible. Grabbing the arm to finish that straight arm bar. His opponent has to tap. Wow, that was the finals. Can you believe that? That quick. That is why I love watching Brian Marisi's fights. Oh, man, and there, congratulations to you, Brian. That was phenomenal jujitsu. Oh, always a pleasure. Uh, winning the Nogi Nationals, I mean, that's huge. I believe he had a little bit of a layoff, too, due to injury or, or some health issues. So it is great to see him just coming back and being so dominant. I mean, that was the finals, and he submitted that guy in under three minutes. Fantastic work. So thank you guys for joining me again. We will be back very shortly with some more matches from the Nationals as well as the Abu Dhabi Pro Trials. So until then, goodbye.